Hi viewers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is HP Fashions GY. So in today's tutorial, we learn on how to cut and sew this short, beautiful butterfly dress with a basket yoke. Okay, so I'll be taking my the full length of my dress. The full length is actually forty one, but I made it thirty seven. All right, because I'll be placing another plane at the tip. All right, so I will just take this shape exactly this shape. I will just round it this way all right then after getting it then i'll go ahead and cut it out all right it doesn't have a measurement you there is no particular measurement to insert so i just folded my fabric into four then i took this shape all right so this is exactly how it looks like all right so after that i'll be folding my pattern paper into four then I'll be taking a yoke of um, an arc of seven, wideness of seven. All right, so I'll be taking a wideness of seven. All right, so once this is done, I'll go ahead and fold it this way. After cutting it out, I'll fold it this way, then use my iron to iron it. All right, so after ironing this way, I'll go ahead and fold it again and iron it like this make sure all the lines are actually visible so once this is done i'll place it on my main dress and cut the neckline out then notch the tip like this all right so where i notch is actually the side for the shoulder and the neckline so i've gotten my plain material i will just place my plain material at the edge of the dress i cut because it's more like a cycle dress then i will plant it this way at the tip okay so this is exactly um i'm going to plant this at the tip and sew all the way around all right it doesn't have a shoulder joining nothing at all so it's actually a cycle butterfly dress so this is how i will just go ahead and plant at the tip of this until i get to the end of it all right so this is exactly how i did my plinting for the tip all right so uh, the plinting it doesn't have any particular measurement i just plint and sew all right so this is how it looks like all right so at this point now I'll go ahead and fold the tip I'll go ahead and fold the tip. I'll sew right at the tip, all right? I wouldn't want to have a rough tip for this. So I'm actually folding the tip of the plane I plinted, okay? So I'll just fold it till I get to the other side of the main dress, all right? So this is exactly how I plinted this. All right, so once I'm done with the plinting, I'll go ahead. This is exactly how it looks like. I'll go ahead and give it a nice press, all right? Okay, so for my pattern paper, I'll just go ahead and spread open like this. Then this is how it looks like, all right? So at this point now, after spreading open this way, I'll go ahead and mark the edges. I'll be making a spacing of one inch. I'll make sure I mark just spacing the one one inch one inch till I get to the other side of the pattern paper all right one one inch that's the spacing I'll be making this way all right so this is exactly how it looks like for one, one inch and I will still come up again by one inch on top of each other one one inch I'll actually repeat the same procedure over and over and over till I get to the points which I want. Okay, so at this point now, the same one inch spacing. All right, so this is how it looks like. All right, so at this point now, I'm just placing the same one inch. All right, so once this is done, once this is done, I will have to repeat the same procedure to the other side. Then this is what I have front and back. Now I'll just spread this open. All right. So at this point now, I'll be using a bias for this. Uh, I'll just place it right on top of the lines which I ironed. All right. That's the reason why I ironed it to 
create a straight line so i just have to place this on top of each of the lines to sew all right so i actually folded my bias into two to do this sewing all right so after this is done i'll place on another line ensure that it's very straight all right ensure that my sewing is neat as well then i will sew right on the line all right so it has to be on the line all right so this is exactly what i have for this all right so if you find this video very helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and if this is your first time of turning to our youtube channel don't forget to like and subscribe as well don't also forget to turn up your notification button so whenever we drop new videos you'll get notifications as well all right so it's actually the last phase for this part i'll just place right on the line if you notice everything is looking very straight and equal all right so all right so once this is done i will i will start placing my my bias on the lines i provided or one inch spacing on all right so i'll actually sew this right on the line all right so it has to be on the line all right for a good and proper result all right so once i'm approaching the end of this i'll fold the tip of my bias inward so that it will it will give a neat surface all right so i will repeat the same procedure all over this is what we have so at this point now we'll stop at this point all right so at this point now i'm taking the facing for the dress i'm taking the facing all right from the arc we removed from the main fabric we we'll just place on my main material then trace this way all right so this is exactly what we have all right so at this point now remember i notched the neckline and all. all right so this is actually the middle of the neckline so i'll be placing my pattern paper on this part then i will use a pin to secure it at this point all right so at this point now i'll be introducing my facing for this all right so i'll just place right at the tip then i will make sure i sew the three of them together all right my pattern paper is in between my main fabric and the facing all right so at this point now i will sew this way at the tip all the way round all right till i achieve what i want all right so this is exactly how it looks like so i'm actually doing this gradually and slowly because it's actually a cycle dress like i said it's actually a cycle dress just at the side of the sleeve is actually shorter than the main side of the dress the length of the dress so i'm actually doing this gradually because i wouldn't want the neckline to plint in any form okay so all right so once i sew i'll go ahead and arrange my fa the main fabric all right so i'm almost done with the facing all right so this is actually the last part of the facing so at this point now if there's any excess i'll just go ahead and plint this out plint this and stitch right at the tip of this all right so once this is done i'll go ahead and cut out the excess thread this is how it looks like with the facing on it and all 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 right so this facing actually helps the dress to have a neat finishing to have a neat surface all right so this is exactly how it looks i'll go ahead i'll go ahead and give it a very nice press all right so at this point now I can either choose to remove start removing the pattern paper although i won't remove all okay i will reserve that for the middle part because i'll be cutting the neckline for this all right so once this is done i'll fold this into two to get my neckline i'll show that they are both equal the the space for the neckline are equal every part of this dress are equal all right so i'll be using a wideness of four inches wide three and a half inches deep okay all right so i'll be using four inches wide three and a half inches deep reason for four inches wide for it to 
allow the head to pass properly all right so i'll be using four inches wide three and a half inches depth all right so at this point now i'll go ahead and connect it i'm actually using the chalk to do this connection so once this is done and setting i'll go ahead and cut it all out okay i'll go ahead and cut it out all right so at this point i actually placed a pin on this dress to secure all the parts because i really want everything equal all right so this is exactly how i cut the neckline out so at this point now once i'm done cutting the neckline i'll keep this aside then take off my pins from my dress okay all right so this is exactly how it is i take off the pins which i use in holding them together all right so at this point now this is how it looks like the neckline is still so rough so i'll be using the same bias to sew the neckline i'll be sewing this neckline from the wrong side i will sew it from the wrong side just at the tip okay just at the tip i'll sew it from the wrong side to the right side of the dress all right so this is exactly how i'll use it to turn the neckline all right so once i'm done with the turning of the neck i remember it's a round neck right so the front and the back neck are actually equal no side is lower it's not a high neck or a low neck whatsoever so at this point now this is the final look of the the final stitching for the rough side of the sewing so at this point now we'll go ahead and turn the bias to the right side of the dress and so right at the tip of this all right then i will ensure that i have a very neat stitches okay so at this point this is exactly how it looks like sewing right at the tip and actually arranging everything all the neck together all right so this is exactly how it looks like at the tip all right so once this is done so this is exactly how i made the neckline okay so at this point i'll go ahead and take off my excess thread and peel off the remaining pattern paper on the neckline okay so i'll go ahead and take them all out all right so once this is done i'll go ahead and ship this dress all right it all depends on the measurement you'll be using for this it all depends i i used a particular measurement for the dress which is actually the measurement i took um for this dress all right so this is exactly how it looks like at this point now we'll just stitch right at this point i won't stitch down this is how it looks like this is the final look of this don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time in my next video bye